our heart for our society is to become better Christians, to become better workers, better neighbors, and suddenly we are blamed that we are dangerous for the society. I'm Zhivko Tonchev uh, and uh, I'm a pastor of Goodness Christian Church. We found our church in 1990. Our church started to grow little by little from a home group to several groups. But in 2008 we understood that there was a letter from the government to every school in Burgasen area. The students in the class were asked for them to report if they have ever met somebody who is uh, not Orthodox Christian. There should be discussion about the dangers of the sects and they relate the evangelical churches. In this letter the authorities accused the churches of carrying out a massive campaign of agitation, that there was a danger of uh, mental aberrations and disorders when attending church services. Um, they accused us of tricking new members and disuniting the Bulgarian nation, which is not true. Back then, I was leading the teenagers group in our church for several years and I was in close contact with some of those students that were addressed in their schools in relation with the letter. And it made me really very sad, both as a minister and as a parent of teenagers, that they had to go through this whole situation. Because those young people that are raised in Christian homes and uh, visit church regularly, uh, they were just elite students or champions in different contests locally and internationally and it was very bad that they had to be pointed out as being someone who is dangerous to society. When we read the letter we were shocked because uh, after the fall down the communism we thought that we will be able to share the gospel freely. At the same time media started to to say the, the, the same things that we are dangerous cults, sectarians, uh, the people should be very careful, uh, do not uh, uh, allow your children to go to these churches and things like this. Religious beliefs, are, if sincerely held, they are part of the dignity of uh, man and human being and they have to be respected. The actions of the government in this case were reckless and they caused significant damage to the ability of the pastors that I represent, Tonchev and Kiryakov, to exercise their religious rights. And also they caused damage not only to them, but also to all of their congregations in a larger context to all believers, evangelical Christians in the city and in the country. When it comes to freedom of religion, the government's job is to respect it. And yet here you have the very opposite. You have the government deciding that someone's theology, someone's beliefs are illegitimate, and then warning an entire city off against them. The government has never retracted the letter, meaning there's nothing to stop something like this from happening again in the future. So we're taking Pastor Tonchev's case to the ECHR, not just for him and the other leaders here in Burgas, but for religious minorities here in Bulgaria and beyond. We're glad that the European Court of Human Rights has now decided to hear the case and we're working to ensure that everyone has the right to live in accordance with what they believe and share their faith with their friends and neighbours without facing government hostility. With the years, I believe with, with the years we are gaining uh, again trust, but with these letters, they very easily, they uh, kind of pull down everything we try to, to build. With the help of uh, Viktor Kostov and AEF uh, International, we believe that uh, that case could be for good for our society, for the Christians, and for our nation.